The key challenge for us is to try to find that balance point between which investments in the way we build the house, how much insulation we put in, how we put it in, how much emphasis we put on high performance equipment. We need to optimize that in terms of affordability, but we do that by defining affordability not just as the mortgage, but the mortgage and the utility bill. If you look at those two things in tandem, if we can shift some dollars from the utility bill over to the mortgage and do it at an advantageous ratio, we're ahead of the game. We're looking at first cost plus the monthly utility bill and trying to come up with a good balance in terms of that definition of affordability. The biggest you know, impact on us as students was learning all the depths into what goes into building a house. Because before this, we were all just you know, in the computer doing plan work. So I guess this semester we get like a broader view on how the whole process happens and how it, how it all comes together in the end. I guess there's more attention to you know, the safety uh, that this house kind of encompasses for the people that are going to be living in it. We studied a lot, uh, me and uh, my partners, we, there was the three of us, we were on a team together. Um, we were looking at the whole bracing aspect, you know, there was a lot of bracing that we had to um, have in the, in the, the the kind of roof aspect because you know the wind loads get really high and during storms that's something we really had to pay attention to when we were kind of exploring how this whole 20k uh, efficient house worked. We have a continuous load tracing that goes all the way from the truss, top of the trusses all the way down to the foundation just to kind of hold everything down together. So yeah the house is designed to protect from uh, the higher wind speeds that a tornado would bring. It's, it's resistant to it, it's not tornado proof, but it is much more resistant than a typical home.